What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Matthias aka Broken Elegans. Today it's time to look at a really popular sound which is a square lead which can be used on trans, metric bass, EDM, whatever. As on the previous tutorials, the preset is down below in the description. Grab that. Without further ado, let's dive to the tutorial. Today we are looking at the square lead which is featured in this little vital test that I did. Let me play this thing to you guys and you can hear the lead in the context and then I'm going to play it solo. This is the lead. This is the patch for the lead. This is also featured on my upcoming melodic bass pack. For those of you who just want the patch and want to be on your own way, thanks for tuning in. You can pause the video and copy these settings. Please leave a like before you leave. For others, I'm going to break down this lead sound and show you guys how to make it and how to fine tune it. So here we have an initialized preset. You can do that by initializing preset from here. And this sound heavily relies on square wave. So we are going to go to waveforms and choose square wave from classic fades. Now this doesn't look like square wave. So we are going to scroll through the wave from using this frame knob. And we will choose something like this. Now. Let's put FM from oscillator 2 over here, but turn the modulator down. That's it for the first oscillator. Then we go to second one and we will use the initialized waveform, which is saw wave and pull the level down. We will choose from spectral morphs the harmonic stretch and leave that as it is for now. Then we will go to LFO1 and drag it to the tune of oscillator 1. Let's leave it about halfway and go to timing, choose seconds and pull this down to something like 0 0.01. Now at this point of the tutorial, I'm coming back from the future and you guys should choose the bipolar mode from the LFO ones modulation menu. That way we are staying in the key that we are playing with the notes. Other than that, follow the tutorial as it goes. This is what you should have now. Then we can pull the glide up. And pull the voices down. We are going to move to effects. First thing we are going to add is a compressor and we are going to pull down the mix to about halfway. Then we are going to plug in delay and pull the mix down. And for this tune, we are going to change the delay to ping pong delay and choose following timing. That's the timing we want and then pull down the spread. This limits the echoes to this area. 
then we will add an EQ and use this mid band with resonance all the way down and put it around the 500 hertz like that and we will use the high band and leave it at around 3k and take the resonance off let's put the gain around 2 dbs We are very close to the sound, then let's add reverb, pull the low cut up and use the high cut to take out the high end. Then let's add a little bit time and pull down the mix very lightly and increase the size. If you want, you can add more reverb for more washed out sound. But I'm going to leave it around there. That's it pretty much for the basic sound. Now I'm going to add a couple macros for this one. So I have more variety to choose from. I'm going to use macro 2 and pull it to oscillator 2's level knob. Then let's pull this down like that. Now we are going to also drag the macro to harmonic stretch like that. And let's hear the effect. It's a bit more unstable sound. Now for the macro 3 we are going to drag it to oscillator 2 and use it something somewhere around there. That way we can get really cool tones and spice up this really basic sound a little bit more. Now this is really simple sound but I hope you guys enjoyed and as always the preset is down below in the description. Make sure to download it and I catch you guys on the next tutorial.